integrating a province, expanding and updating the Tetra communication system in Mendoza. The Mendoza province relies on the Hytera Tetra system, a voice and data digital communication network through which the security and emergency forces coordinate and manage their operational and tactical resources. The government of Mendoza has carried out a significant extension and update, expanding the system to localities that have historically been isolated. The tunnel adjoining Cacheuta and Potrerillos has been on hold for the past 20 years, which is why the route going through the town was closed. Cacheuta is a very well-regarded touristic town, and despite being only 48 kilometers from the city of Mendoza, it was isolated from the public safety network communication system due to the fact that it's located in a canyon surrounded by mountains. In 2017, the tunnel was put in commission and the flow of tourists increased significantly, which made the interconnection essential. It was achieved by the construction of the Cacheuta repeater station that lights up the town, the road, and the brand new corridor. This infrastructure relies on cutting edge solar panels as its power source. Antes, sin el sistema Tetra, toda la zona de Cachauta estaba casi totalmente incomunicada. Teníamos una demora de 10 a 15 minutos o bajar 9 kilómetros para poder tener señal y poder hacer una comunicación rápida y efectiva al personal policial. La demora de 10 minutos puede llegar a significar la vida de alguien. Con la apertura del túnel hacia Potrerillos se ha incrementado muchísimo la circulación, tanto como la afluencia de personas. Gracias al sistema Tetra tenemos mejor comunicación, ya sea con el Servicio Coordinado de Emergencias, Patrulla de Rescate, Bomberos Voluntarios o de Policía de Mendoza al instante. A little further away, about 81 kilometers from the city of Mendoza, you can find the most dangerous point in the route to Chile the Guido Curve. This is a strategic spot due to its characteristics and the fact that it's surrounded by mountains. This location, as well as others close by, significantly increased their coverage with the incorporation of new base radio stations, which led to an increased coverage in high mountain terrain. My name is Alejandro Alonso. I'm subcomisario of the Policía de Mendoza and I work in the Unidad de Patrulla de Rescate and Auxilio in Montaña. Salí a hacer trekking un domingo, pierdo el sendero de bajada, que pierdo contacto con el grupo. En vez de ser cinco horas de salida a disfrutar, dos días y medio prácticamente entre medio de los cerros. Recibimos un llamado a través del Centro Estratégico de Operaciones. Nos avisan de alguna persona en una situación de emergencia en algún cerro. Bueno, antes, más allá de que teníamos un buen recurso humano, carecíamos un poco de, del equipo técnico necesario. Hoy por hoy el gobierno viene dándonos el equipo necesario para poder hacer todas nuestras actividades. Nos permite dar respuestas más rápidas, poder eh, acotar los tiempos, poder trabajar seguros. Cuando los ves por primera vez, después de tanto tiempo de estar en, en soledad, con este tema del clima, te vuelve el alma al cuerpo y te, te dice, bueno, hay gente que es, es solidaria. Cuando logramos rescatar a una persona con vida, se me viene a la mente que valió la pena. Valió la pena el haber dejado mucho tiempo a mi familia sola. Valió la pena todo eso para poder salvar a una persona. Puente de Hierro and Palmira were also inaugurated in the East Area, as well as the communication sites on Route 145, called Camino del Pehuenche, which will be inaugurated during 2019, with base radio stations in Bardas Blancas, Portezuelo del Viento, and Las Loicas, localities in the southern department of Malargue. The Tetra system in Mendoza. 53 base radio stations, 136 carriers, 5,000 digital radios with GPS, integration with 911 and all security and emergency forces. Mendoza, an integrated province. Government of Mendoza.